Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm Fiona, welcome back to my channel. This is Fiona's Life. So the other day I did my six year anniversary vlog where I talked about um, living abroad for six years and how great it is to live abroad and you know the challenges that I face living abroad and in that vlog I briefly mentioned about some of the things that were really difficult about living in China um, and for those of you who don't know and didn't or didn't watch that vlog hey, I'll post it um, here but also I was living in China for five years and I um, left China in May 2022 so not so long ago and so I thought it's only fair that I talk about um, some of the things that I really liked about living in China. So here are the five things that I liked about living in China. And so if you're going to China, because now apparently they have opened up the borders um, and letting people come in. And actually my friend told me that Hong Kong is now allowing mainlanders, mainland people from China, mainland China to go into Hong Kong. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to go to China, maybe some of these things you will find them um, really helpful and really enjoy them. So first thing, oh, and I've got them written down because <laughs> I will just forget and start talking about trees. Um, so anyway, online shopping, online shopping and convenience. Let me tell you, I think China is probably the best in the world when it comes to online shopping, not just online shopping, but online, you know, on your phone, convenience, you know, ordering things. I could stand, literally stand in the middle of the street, anywhere in China, and order food, you know, order anything to come to me and it will get to me in the middle of that street. Um, I remember somebody was telling me how when I was in China, how one of our colleagues, she was at a restaurant. Um, it was actually, yeah, it was a, well, no, it's where they sell, um, sold um, bubble tea. And she was sitting in, like a restaurant, you know, sitting in that area, um, waiting for her bubble tea. And she wanted some food. Um, and the food was on the other side of the mall. But she didn't want to leave where she was sitting. So she ordered the food from that side of the mall in that restaurant for it to come to her in that bubble tea shop. I mean, you couldn't do that anywhere else. Do you know what I mean? They always say you can't bring outside food into their restaurant. You can order anything, pretty much anything, pretty much anything, and it will arrive, it will get to you. Um, there's things that they have in China that you never thought was actually a thing that are available to you. Um, I use Taobao, uh, Timor, and Meituan. And Meituan actually, Meituan delivers groceries and uh, fast food. Um, so groceries, uh, not, not so much fast food, food from restaurants and fast food places. I don't know if they deliver anything else, but I know they do those things because I had groceries delivered to me. And also, there's another app, I can't even remember. If I remember, I'll put it in. Um, where you know when I ordered from this lady used to make my these vegan buns for me um, we used to use this um, courier to go he would go and pick them up and bring them to me I mean it was just so efficient super 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 cheap um, and just available 24 hours a day so that's the one thing that Taobao oh, excuse me that China, <laughs> that China has over I would say pretty much all countries, including the Western world. So yeah, so I really liked that, really enjoyed it, and actually missed that, because you know, here in Tanzania you don't have, you don't have, have all of those things. I mean, when I was in China, you know, you pay for everything on your phone. Everything is done on your phone. Um, to be honest, I could just leave my apartment with my phone, lip balm, and my key card to get in to my apartment and I'd be fine, I wouldn't need anything else. Um, so I loved that convenience. I know in the Western world people use their phones to pay for things, but I mean, literally everything was you paid for or paid via your phone. Um, so it was just super, super, super easy. You didn't need to be walking around with a handbag. Um, but I do like my purse, I do like having a wallet, I really do. Whereas here, 
cash. Everything's cash, unless you're going into a kind of Western style in establishment and they take card, but the hotel, supermarket, then you can use your card. So love that, miss that as well. Um, the second thing, which I've already mentioned, it's super, super cheap in China. I'm telling you, China is super, super cheap. And you know, because uh, most things were made there and shipped to the rest of the world, because you're there, you're not getting those high prices for name brand, name brand items that once they get to you in England or America or where have you, they're just so expensive. So everything was cheap. Every single thing was cheap. Flights were cheap, food was cheap. Um, clothes wise, I mean, I only kind of went into uh, Zara sometimes and Abercrombie and Fitch on one occasion to buy something. Um, Muji, I would go into, and I would pro probably say it's probably about the same, probably about the, s the same as if you were in, if I was in England, it's about the same. But everything else, if you wanted, you know, food in terms of like noodles and um, vegetables and things like that, really, really cheap. Um, when I used to order, buy a Taobao, my groceries, my vegetables, they would come from Shanghai. So I'd order them today, tomorrow morning, they would be at my door. Um, super, super cheap, super, super cheap. The only things that were not so cheap is if I ordered like nuts and specific to certain types of nuts, um, seeds, plant-based types of foods that I'd probably have to, they'd probably come from Hong Kong, for instance. Or if somebody, the seller, went to another country, bulk bought these items and then started selling them on Taobao and they were in some part of China, I might have to wait a few days. Um, and they might be a little bit more expensive. Hair products as well. So if you bought specific black hair products like Cantu, for instance, they, that is readily available. That can be quite expensive than if you bought it anywhere else. Um, but generally, everything else is super, super cheap. Um, the third thing, it's close to all the other Asian countries. I think the furthest country, the, the, the country that's kind of the furthest away that I visited was um, Singapore. Singapore is probably, what, six, just over six hours, I think. Um, but all the other countries, very, very close by. You know, you could go for a weekend and come back. I mean, Hong Kong, you could literally get into Shenzhen and cross walk over you mean you'd have to get to a certain part but you could walk over that's a like walk over it the border it's like a bridge it literally is like a an inside bridge and I did that with my with my friend um, and all, yeah we did that I went we went over over the bridge you need your passport um, and you're in you're in Hong Kong it's it's that weird like it's just a bridge <laughs> and it's indoors it's indoors it's covered and you come off the train, I wonder if she'll correct me if I'm wrong. You come off the train, this fly, oh gosh, it's a wasp that's got now. Come off the, we get off the, we got off the train and you like walk over and you can see outside and there's water under the bridge. So this part is um, mainland China and that part is Hong Kong and you're in. And then once you get over, you've got to show your passport um, and then um, we got on the train, you have to get on the train to go into downtown Hong Kong. It's just so awesome. So yeah, Hong Kong is, you know, it's still China. Um, very, very easy to get to and some of the other Asian countries really easy to get to. So I love and miss that because where I am located, East Africa, it is so difficult to get to other East African countries. You wouldn't believe it. it it's just hours i mean to get to places like zambia zambia um zimbabwe it could take up to 16 to 20 hours on a plane to go down the road i mean that doesn't even make sense in my mind because of the location that i am in so i love that it was very close to other chinese other asian countries um that's why i was always traveling so freely 
and so easily whilst I was there um, before transportation. I think I have to say, um, is it better than anywhere else I've been? It's, I think it's more efficient. You know, I've got metro cards for lots of places. I've got metro card for Japan. I've got metro card for um, Singapore. I've got metro card for Thailand. I've got metro card for um, London. Um, where else? I think there's a couple of, a couple, a couple of other countries I've got metro card for. Anyway, I can't remember. But um, and China, of course, um, for not only Ningbo but for also Shanghai. So that's two metro cards I have. Um, very, very efficient very 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 efficient I don't think in the five years that I was there even when I was in Shanghai did we ever have like like in London where there's always an announcement that there's some problem some problem the train will tell you it's coming in one minute and then all of a sudden it's coming in six minutes or sadly someone has you know thrown themselves in front of the train there was none of that none, none of that type of thing the train was always on time I also loved Diddy. Loved, 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 loved Diddy. Um, Diddy's an app. Um, and I think there's some other countries that have Diddy as well. Really, really efficient. And, and your phone, the, your bank account obviously is connected to Diddy. So you just get in, get out and go. Um, I just loved it. You know, you, in China they have, um, you can get the taxi, normal taxi, or you can get premium. And I think there was one other Ah, yes, there was. There was taxi, there was, um, I think it was like, uh, it was almost like in between taxi and I never liked those and I never, unless it was an absolute necessity and I couldn't get Premier Diddy, I, you know, I'd grin and bear it and hold my nose because their cars always smelled of cigarette and they were always dirty. So it was like a middle, I can't remember, if I remember, I will put it in the vlog. But there was always the taxi, normal taxi, as an option, and then there was this middle one, <laughs> that was an option, and then there was Premier. I always use Premier taxi, but all of them were cheap. All of them were cheap. Um, when I was going to work, I would, a lot of the time, or majority of the time, I would get on the metro um, to, get on, to go to work when I was in my last city that I was living in, in Zhejiang province. Um, and then sometimes I'd call a Diddy and a Diddy might um, cost me around UK money, maybe about £10 and it was, the journey was about 40 minutes. England, you just, the taxi turns up and it's 20 quid just for it to turn up. You know, you haven't even shut the door and it's 20 quid. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but you, if you've been in England, you know what I'm talking about. Very expensive. So I really, really love and appreciate that. Here is cheap as well in Tanzania. I mean, I figured out today when I was going to the gym, I took um, a bajaji and it worked out to be about £1.79 to go to the gym, which is really nothing. So yes, that's um, something I liked, something I enjoyed, something I missed. <laughs> and the last thing, money. And this is really to do more to, will really apply more to people who work in China or think about working in China. You get paid really well. You get paid well. You just can't get rid of the money, <laughs> in my opinion. I mean, and, and also, you know, obviously it will depend on your lifestyle. Um, for me, I didn't eat out all the time. Um, and I went to this one vegan spot um, and it wasn't expensive, it was very, really nice, um, but it wasn't expensive. Um, I did go away, I traveled um, a lot. Um, and then there was also work travel, which my company paid for. Um, the trains were not expensive, even when I went to Shanghai and I checked the business class option. Um, it was 444. Roman B, I'll put that price in um, again to get there and to come back. That price never changed. It's always been like that and never changes. Um, but the money, you get paid very well. Um, most companies for most um, most 
uh, what's the word that I'm looking for, most companies for different kinds of businesses, whatever field that you're in, will pay for or may pay for your accommodation, they may pay for your utilities, they might also um, pay for, you might get an allowance for transportation. So that means you get all of your salary. Um, tax is, I don't know what the tax is now, but it's very, very low. Um, so if you're going, if you're looking to go to China um, because you want to save money, uh, make a lot of money, travel Asia, get the China experience, and if you're concerned, will you make enough money? Yes is the answer. Um, yes is the answer. And it will depend on what, what, what field that you're going to work in. I know people, if you're working in banking, um, if you're working in education, if you're working in um, fashion and you've got your own business, there you are going to be very, very comfortable. Um, so yes, those things are things that I liked working in China. Um, and it's, I'm, do I miss, I miss, as I said, I miss some of them. They were, they were really comforting and easy for me um, in terms of kind of getting around and living my life and doing the things that I needed to do. However, the things that I mentioned, the things that I mentioned in the vlog, the recent, my six year anniversary vlog, which I will post, um, kind of just were really challenging, really, really challenging. But all part of the experience, um, I wouldn't go back to China to go and live. Um, I'd certainly go to Hong Kong because I love Hong Kong. Um, but yeah, that is my five things I liked and really enjoyed about my time living in China. So if you're going to China, enjoy. Um, check out those things that I've talked about. And if you like this vlog, do not forget to subscribe, like and share. And thank you for coming back to my channel. Bye bye.